Okay, good morning, guys. Welcome to Hacking Self Storage. It's Monday, so that means we go through my week in numbers, the good, the bad, the revenue, the conversions, you name it, we tell you. I'm going to be a little bit quicker than normal because I've got a sofa up. God, I sound like a right princess. <laughs> um, I never, ever get ill, honestly, and oh, I'm coughing, I'm uh, spluttering. I've even got snood on, look at me. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and be as quick as possible. And I always say to my wife, you always get ill, you always get ill. I can't, no, I'm, I'm not ill, ill, I'm like, yeah, I'm not ill, not ill. But I just, you know when you feel, Ugh. Um, it's just sober October, it's no good for me. <laughs> and so anyway, so I've got loads and loads of uh, courses. Um, I've got loads of videos too for the course as well, um, the acquisition. So if you are a member of the course, I promise you, this is one of the best modules that I've ever done. The insights I've personally got myself from putting it down on paper has been tremendous. It's been well over a week solid work to do this. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really proud of it. So that will be mo two of the four videos are up now. I'm going to do another two videos today. So yeah, really, really exciting. Right. Um, so good morning, Stall Nation. I put in my newsletter. Don't forget to sign up to my newsletter, MrSellStorage.com. That's where all the cool kids in storage hang out. So it's been a funny old week. We've got great net square foot. We've, we've, Absolutely annihilate the net square foot, which is great. Great cash taken, good on move-ins, really, really poor on website visitors. Because don't forget, move-ins and reservations are often lagging indicators. And so that means because we've had poor website visitors this week, then next week and the following on, you're going to see the repercussions of that. It's like the butterfly effect. And so I suspect that conversions are going to be down again. The reason why conversions were down this week is because we had poor website visitors last week. And so it's a knock-on effect. Like I said, it's a lagging indicator. Um, so there's been some good parts and there's some bad parts. Uh, conversions, uh, sorry, quotes are low as well. Um, I'm really, really poor on the reservations. I've got a note here, but it was an amazing week for Willoughby. Right, so here's the headlines. 101 quotes plus 2,110 square foot for the week. 21 reservations, but um, quotes to reservate conversions across the whole site was 21%. I just had a bib in my ear then. I wondered if it's still recording. It looks like it is. Yep, everything looks good there. Um We'll just keep cracking and hope for the best. Uh, we had 27 movies, which was pretty good. Conversion rate of 27%, so that's not too bad. Right, let's get on to the Google Analytics because this is very, very important. So ultimately, our funnel is working perfectly. The one thing we're lacking is more traffic. So in total, we had 271 new website visitors. We had 101 quotes. So you're aiming for 20% of your website visitors to get a quote. Give them your details. So one in five should be giving you your details. Obviously, 101 quotes from 271. That's well above 20%. So that part of the funnel is working. And the great thing about these funnels is once you isolate areas, so we know that website visitors, you need to get quotes. We know if you're not getting that, then that part of the funnel is broken. So you can isolate it and... Uh, there's a whole train in that in the course, which is wonderful, if I don't say so myself. And I do say so myself. Um, so from them quotes, um, from them 101 quotes, um, you're looking for for 25%. And I have put, actually, we have for 25%. So this part of the funnel is working, but it's actually not. This part of the funnel didn't work last week. So we yes, we got the quotes, 101 quotes. Um, but the, this is an interesting one, actually. So we... The overall, the funnel is working on numbers, and I'll go into why, but there's one section of the funnel that is broken that could do more. So website visitors, um, do we so 271, we aim for 20% of those to get a quote. So we're aiming for roughly 54 people to get quotes from website visitors. However, 101 people got a quote, so we more than double, nearly doubled it. So we nearly hit 40% website visitor actually getting a quote, which is really good. So that part's definitely working. However, we got 101 quotes, and we only got 20 reservations. So that's a 20% conversion. We aim for 25. So we know that part of the funnel could do better. However, overall, um, the funnel is converting at 7% because we got um, 20 website reservations 
from 270 website visitors. So it's converting it. The overall funnel is converting at 7%. Anything above 5%. So we know that overall funnel is working. But we do know because we've isolated it and looked in parts, we know that the reservations wasn't up to par. It wasn't up to standard. So that's something to keep an eye on. Right, weekly revenue. We took just over 50,000, 50,097 pounds. 4,500 at Glasgow, 6,500. By the way, somebody paid for a year up front at Glasgow, which was awesome, which massively helped out. Obviously, great stuff there. Uh, paid for the container. <laughs> we had 3,000, paid 3,000 pound up front, which was terrific. I think because they got, they had two containers, so it paid for a container for a year. So that's really good. Um, 6,500 at Mansfield, 4,400 at Wrexham. Absolutely cock on 6,000 pound at Clough Road. £5,037 at Beverly and £23,600 at Willoughby. Um, who got the most reservations? Charlene got the most reservations joint with Zach, uh, Jack at uh, seven. So well done, you two. We had two online as well out of the reservations out of the 20. So we got like uh, 10% reserved online. So we're just swigging a bit of coffee. Breaking my throat, say Oh, poor me. <laughs> Shut up, Dean. Right, I'm out of quotes 24 at Willoughby. So we're going to now dive into each individual site. 24 quotes at Willoughby. There was four reservations. So that's a conversion rate of just 17%. So Willoughby really let himself down on the conversion rate. Normally, it's a lot better. Movings, we've got 11. So that's a 46% conversion rate. So that is really good. The loot and van was running down seven times out of seven. So again, really good. The square foot moved in was 1,710 square foot. Square foot moved out, 440. Now, you'll remember last week, we wasn't actually due to move out anybody. The 440 square foot moving out was a bit of a disaster. However, we moved in an extra 800 square foot than we're supposed to. So really, really good figures there. Overall, 1,270 square foot up in October, in a week. Beautiful. 1,700 square foot moved in, in a week. Beautiful. Um, amount of rooms moved in. We've got 347 rooms internally occupied. We've got 52 containers rented out. We've got two car parking spaces running out. We're 82% full, £11 per average merchandise sales per move-in. The average insurance was good. It was 8000 per move-in, which was really good. Next week, we've got six move-ins due for 475 square foot, and we've got six move-outs for 550. So... I reckon we'll just be up this next week by maybe a few hundred square foot, which will be good. We just need to crack them more reservations at will it be that proper, proper let us down. In fact, if we got 25% of that, so yeah, it'd have just got public mass to tell you, honestly, I get, I'm just getting my calculator up, 24 times by 0.25 equals six. So we should have got an extra two, but normally we hit 30%. So 24 times by 0.3 equals 7.2. So we'd have got, we should have got an extra three reservations at Clough. Uh, sorry, at Willoughby, because we normally hit 30% there. So if we'd got an extra three, it'd have been um, 24 reservations for the week, and it would be a 24% conversion rate. So we're just around about that 25 overall. So the overall funnel may have worked. So it's Willoughby that actually let us down. Right, Clough Road, 28 quotes, number of reservations was six. That's a conversion rate of 21%. Again, still loader. Seven move-ins, so that's a 25% conversion rate. Um, 850 square foot moved in, 350 square foot moved out. We've got 500 net result for Clough Road for the week, which is really, really good. Average £7,000 per move-in for insurance. This next week, we've only got two move-ins for 75, and we've got three move-outs for 150. That it should be around about a scratch week. Beverly, amount of quotes, 10. We had one reservation. Again, but Beverly let us down massively. Um, behind you, we haven't actually got too many units full. I'm just going to take a drink. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to gym after this. I'm like, no, body, sod you. You're going to gym if you like it or not. So, um, nobody tell the wife. Um, so I don't know why, <laughs> because she's uh, she's looking to book a holiday to Lapland today, and uh, she says, "Are you going to come to the thing?" I ain't got time, Claire. <laughs> so we're going to. She's going to the holiday place, and um, yeah, um, what is it called? I don't know. The, anyway, the holiday place, travel agents, and, uh, and she says, "You're going to come?" I said, "No, Claire, I ain't got time." No, I'm going to go to gym. 
But to be fair, I am listening, educating myself all the time when I'm there. Okay, that's my excuse. Anyway, uh, one reservation, only 10% conversion. Three movements, which is good, which is a 30% conversion. 235 moved in, 225 moved out, 10 square foot up for the week. Pops. 83 units occupied. We're 91% full. Uh, average insurance sold was £6,000. Really good on the insurance this week. Well played, guys. Again, it's going to be a nothing week. Uh, one move in, 50 square foot, two move outs for one, two, five. So nothing really happening there. Amount of quotes at Wrexham, 10, three reservations. So that's good. That's really good considering as well. Um, we, we're just about full internally. Um, so that's 30% conversion. We had three move-ins as well, which was, again, a 30% conversion. We moved in 245. We moved out 285. So we're net 40 square foot down for the week. Only £4,000 average insurance sold at Wrexham. This next week, one move in due for 35 square foot, four move outs due for 365. So this next week looks like it's going to be a toughie at all places, really. Uh, I, if we can get a thousand square foot up next week, I'll be over the moon. Mansfield, 19 quotes, four reservations. That's again poor on the conversion rate, 21%. Um, we moved in two new people. That's a 10% conversion rate. Um, well, 11% would be round up. We moved in to 350. We moved out 300. That's 50% extra uh, net result, net square foot. We've got 165 internal rooms occupied, 24 or 24 containers rented. We have got some more on order. Car parking space is 15, 72% occupied, uh, 5,500 average insurance. This next week, we're going to be over 300 square foot up here at Mansfield, maybe even more depending on the results this next week. 475 due to move in with five move ins, one move out for 160 square foot. But that's a container, so we should fill that pretty quickly. Uh, Glasgow could be the one that's uh, a good one for us this next week. Um, right. Number of reservations is three. This is Glasgow, 10, 10 quotes, reservations three. So that's good, 30% conversion. We only had one move in. Uh, but they did move in two containers and paid up front for a year. So that's really good result. Um, so one move in, but two units and paid up front for a year. Just take a swig of my coffee. Um, so that's square foot moved in 320. Nobody moved out, so we're net 320, which is good. Um, we've got 27 containers rented. I want to get to that bloody 30. Um I'm going to check that because I thought it was somewhere similar last week. Let's just see if I can see Mr. Self Storage. Because I thought we was getting close. Mr. Self Storage, weekly figures. So last week would be the uh, 14th. Let's see. 14th, here we go. Let's have a look. I know. Monday. Hmm. Can't seem to find it, to be honest. Sorry, this is not this is not great. Um I'm just trying to find what we said on the last week on the uh, um here we go. I think no, this isn't it. No. So I was trying to find out uh, Glasgow, where Glasgow was um, this time last week, but it looks like, um, I don't know. Can't seem to find. I'll tell you what I'll do. Right. I will actually find it on the actual Beehive system. Um, controversial view. All right. We'll go right to the top and then I'll be honestly a million. Here we go. Weekly figures. Let's see. Just, just for my um, peace of mind what Glasgow was last week. So it should be 25. It should say 25 if everything's correct. There we go. No, you see, number of containers rented out, it says 26 there. Ah, so I'm glad we looked because on the data here last week, it said the end, the end of last week said we've got 26 containers rented out. Um, and it says that we moved in two containers this week. Nobody moved out. And it only says 27 containers. So there is there is some sort of problem there. Right. Uh -huh. Right. That's uh, I'm happy with that. At least we at least we found it, at least we looked into it. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. But do you know what if there's a if there's a problem? Because for me, the containers haven't been going up as much as I thought the reservations have and the move-ins. So maybe that um even though it's a small it's a small problem, just one out there, 
it might be one out this week, one out last week, one out the week before. And so it compounds, it can compound anyway. So, and um, these are automated from Space Manager as well. So it'd be good to see what Space Manager uh, have to say. So yeah, it's saying there, 26, 2, yeah, it should be 28 at the minimum. Right, we're 57% occupied, but that could be more because obviously we know we're, we're more full than that. This next week, one move in for 160, one move out for 160, but that one move out has been due for three or four weeks now, hasn't moved out. So will it move out? Probably not. Um, Overall, 20 reservations from the Stormall branches and one from Beverly. If you don't know, Beverly was the one I set up in 2012. And I set up in 2016 um, for Willoughby, 2016, yeah. And we're eight years old at Stormall, but the Beverly branch is is 2012, 12 years old, coming up in December. So, yep, uh, the, so we, we've got the Stormall um, brand and then we've got the Beverly brand because Beverly was our first one, so we just kept it separate, so it's not going to need to change it. Hopefully you can hear me, by the way, so I'm talking softly. I know. Uh, only went to gym twice last week, only ran 18 miles, hurt my back. Honestly, when, you, when you're when you in the gym zone, you, you hurt your back, it's like, ah, damn it. Average of 16,400 steps, 408, which is a bit good because I wanted to do 20,000. Um, that is it, my friends. I will, I will get going. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you uh, tomorrow when we are talking monthly figures for Glasgow. And on Wednesday, we're talking monthly figures for... Um, Beverly for September. I right, my friend, and I'll try and do them earlier. This next, um, in November, I'll try to do October's earlier. All right, my friends, I love you. I appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow.